in a moment preparing and we're live on Facebook. Hello again, Nicola, and hello everybody on Facebook. We're so happy to be together today. Hello, Johan. Hello, everyone. So good to be with you. Thanks for jumping in here on our first Facebook Live for the new season, for the new year. Happy New Year to you again. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> You're so welcome. It's it's a great joy. I've known you now for what three months or so through Facebook, and we've never spoken. It was just nice. Nicola and I have just spent a few minutes in our green room here preparing uh, for the meeting <laughs> and and checking in. It was so nice to hear a bit more about you. Yeah. And uh, I see already some likes and hearts. So do let us know there if everything sounds good. We just did a test and everything seemed fine. Uh, let us know also during the conversation here on Facebook, if you have any questions at all, Nicola said there is no topic that he isn't happy to talk about. So <laughs> ask, ask totally away anything. Open. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ask away. And uh, also let us know where you're calling in from. We always love to hear and see who's there with us. And we'll integrate anything that you bring to the conversation. I have the Facebook feed open there below um, our conference uh, room here. So I can, I can check in and bring in anything to the conversation. So... Um, We'll talk today uh, with Nicola from Melbourne, who just discovered Montreal. Ah, Montreal. <laughs> Slightly, is that by about as opposed on the globe as you could be, or <laughs> about twelve hours of time zone there. <laughs> Montreal, right? I, I just read about a, a training that had happened today in Melbourne, so I think I mixed the two up. Montreal. Um, and so we'd love to hear a bit more about your story and just as we go along, also hear more about how that was for you to meet uh, the Balanced View training, get involved. But let me just lead right back to you. When and how did you come across uh, Bright and Balanced View? And maybe you could also share a bit what time and space that was in your life and what rang for you that made you click that link or however you you came across kind of uh, okay well actually I heard about um, the training for the first time it was last year um, when I was in Amsterdam and uh, I went to I was invited to a hang massive <laughs> concert and um, uh, the lead singer was Victoria Grabes and uh, it's just something about her her lyrics and something about her, her, just the way she was singing was very, it was resonating with me somehow. So after the concert, I asked her, <laughs> I asked her like what her inspiration was for uh, her lyrics. And I think she sent me, like we, we linked up on Facebook and I think she sent me a link to, to the Balance View page and she also gave me a CD. She gave me a free CD, which was really <laughs> nice. But the first time I looked at the page, I, um, I think I was very skeptical. And I didn't, I didn't go any further than, than this, like the, the front page that was promising, you know, like complete mental <laughs> stability and harmonious relationships. And, um, but, you know, at that time, I was actually in Amsterdam because I, f I was like, I think I was getting away from everything. Like I was kind of running away from uh, difficult relationships and I was trying to make a change, you know, I was trying to find, just get away from everything I was in. Cause I was in a, like, I feel like I was in a very difficult time kind of emotionally in my life and mm -hmm. mentally. And uh, so even though I, I didn't get into the training at that time, when I came back to Montreal, I did like a, a Vipassana meditation kind of 10 day retreat. I think that was like kind of the beginning of my really getting into like seeking and things like this. That, that retreat was very powerful. It was like very amazing. And, um, but the, the training, the, the practice I found was very kind of rigorous. Like you had to like meditate for two hours, like one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening every day 
and I, I thought it was like really <laughs> like hard to do. And and at that point, then I found uh, Muji. I don't know if you know about Muji. He's a kind of um, a guru. And um, I started to listen to his sil- his silent meditations his guided meditations. And I would just like relax and just kind of listen to his, his meditations. I, I like that much better than having to kind of do this kind of active, kind of difficult meditation of the Vipassana. Mm-hmm. So I, I followed Muji for like about a year. And um, I went even to his ashram and I went to Portugal where, he's, where he uh, gives satsangs. And that was all after you had met Vic- Victoria? Yes, I see. That was uh-huh. like a year within the year after. Um, yeah, but then like just recently, like about two or uh, three months ago, uh, I think she posted a like one of the talks on one of the Balance You talks on Facebook, and and just something about the I don't know who it was like um, I don't know who the trainer was talking, but just something about her her energy and the. Like she was so poised and she was so kind of at ease with herself and she was so confident and uh, and just like a regular person. You know, she wasn't like a, a guru or something or like mm-hmm. she wasn't some she was just a regular person, but speaking with such power. And I was so attracted to that. I was like, I want like I want I want to be like that. I want <laughs> I want to have that. I felt like that was something I could I could have. So that's when I signed up for them the Be the Power course. Our free introductory course, yes. How was that for you? That was nice. I just I just went right through it. I just was like, I, that's when I saw you for the first time and I was like, you were, so, you were so smiling and you were so just like, just so shining and bright. And yeah, I just went right through that. I liked it a lot. And I think I, then I signed up for the 12 empowerments like right, right after, because I wanted, I really wanted to, mm. to keep going. Mm-hmm. So you were really ready. <laughs> yeah, I was so ready. Uh huh. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. There were so many likes and hearts there uh, as you were sharing. So yeah, thank you for giving us this uh, this uh, background for how that all happened for you. So um, you mentioned the like at the time in your life when you met uh, Hang Massive when you were at the show, the Hang Massive show. Yeah. Um, you had some, I think you said, emotional challenges or you were going through it, it like a difficult time and you were kind of running away. Um, how, how is that all for you today? Like, I, I see you're back in Montreal. You're no longer in Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, how, how is it for you now to be, to be back there? Uh, it's great, uh, especially since, like, after having done the 12 empowerments, like, like I know now that what I was doing was I was avoiding, I was avoid, like, I was avoiding everything. Like, cause like all my relationships, like, especially with my parents, like my, my father, um, so much like things would come up, like so much like old stories, like irritations and uncomfortable things would come up. And I was like, like before I knew the training, I was like, I was almost afraid. Like, I didn't know what was going on in my you know, in my experience, it's like, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel all this, like, this hatred? Why do I feel like I should be like, you know, I should be feeling nice, and I should be happy, and I should be. So before that, I was avoiding everyone, like, I it had come to a point where, like, I had pushed away all friends that I had. I would, you know, I wouldn't, I would, wouldn't speak to my parents so much. I wouldn't, um, Yeah, it was just, I was very much isolated because I was very kind of, I thought everyone else was to blame for for the way I felt. I thought maybe if I get away, maybe if I push them away, then I'll I'll, I'll feel better, you know, or something. But I did, never felt better. <laughs> it didn't help to be in Amsterdam? Uh, well, it was cool, but like this, the data follows you, you know, kind of wherever you go. Like I was still, I was having like these kind of panic attacks, you know, sometimes when I, when I went to, when I went to sleep, you know, in bed, I would just like get into thoughts and get into really afraid of my own thoughts and emotions. It was getting very overwhelming. Yeah. 
so yeah now but now i kind of i have the same things come up like the same kind of data except it's different like it's it's kind of i don't know i think it's like it feels like it's softened somehow and i i'm much more like i'm not afraid of it i can just i can be with it especially just taking short moments and just using the four mainstays and it's just much more relaxed. I feel I feel much more relaxed, even though I have every all the same things come up. It's I experience it differently. Mm. Yeah, so I nice. I think everybody who has uh, gone through the same experience can completely relate. It's it's so and and we've read it a million times. Those of us who've been into like spiritual seeking, nothing changes and everything changes. And yeah, but without that experience, it just sounds. It's just more words and impossible mm -hmm. to get our head around but then once you are back like you said at your parents uh and in the, in the place that used to trigger all these data and the same data come up and yet you can be completely at ease that is yes. like and also now as we're talking i can see that you're just so relaxed and relational it's hard to imagine you avoiding avoiding well, people I'm definitely <laughs> feeling i'm definitely feeling you know the the, the energies in my body, you know, it's just from being on, you know, on this live kind of thing, but it's, it's still comfortable. It's like, especially with you, you're such a nice host. It's easy <laughs> to feel at ease. <laughs> well, that's sweet. Thank you. But uh, I, I can definitely tell the, the, uh, the naturalness and the warmth that that brings, you know, that that yeah. aligning with open intelligence has brought into your life. Now, did you have any feedback from your family and friends? Like, is that is the change that you experience obvious in other people? Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. How how has that been for you after traveling, coming back, doing the empowerments? Um, if you had any feedback, how do you feel um, they respond I, I to feel the like changes? I have I have had some feedback from from my girlfriend like she definitely notices uh I'm I'm different like I I don't <laughs> I I don't uh I don't I feel like I've changed in 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 so many ways but it's strange though from my parents I don't I feel like they haven't they haven't said anything even though like I'm I'm totally, I'm totally different. Like I actually speak to them, <laughs> which I didn't do so much before. Um, I was very irritable with my dad, like very, and, and I would feel irritable and I would, I would indulge in it. You know, I would kind of like snap, snap at him and just like things like that. And I don't do it. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> and actually I was just speaking to them on the phone the other day and it was just so nice. It was just so nice to talk to him. I was just like, nothing of the, of like these old um, habitual kind of bad feelings, nothing came up and it was just like, Merry Christmas. It was just so nice to talk to him. I felt kind of like, like Adrian when he talks about his dad and like how his relationship changed. And it was just like so much love, so much love for my dad, so much love for my mom yeah wow i'm i'm melting here what a christmas yeah. gift <laughs> yeah <laughs> so beautiful um good now let me just check here on facebook we have so many hearts it's like unbelievable everybody nice. loves to hear from you so we have stockholm sweden boulder goa goa wow nice mozambique uh wow. i love hang massive <laughs> great yeah so we have a great crowd here um let me go back to something you said before um now, when these things come up for you and uh, you said you either take a short moment or you, you rely on the other mainstays. And for yeah. everybody who is new here, the four mainstays are the simple practice of short moments of open intelligence, uh, all the training, the training media and that are plentiful on Facebook and on the website, on YouTube and uh, in many other ways and forms. The third are the trainers and the fourth is the worldwide community also worldwide and on Facebook. And so how does that look practically for you? Like when you say you rely on the four mainstays, how does that like, I don't know, say you get irritable about something and then how does that happen for you specifically that you rely on the four mainstays? Uh, 
well, it always starts with a short moment. Always the short moment is the easiest uh, thing, the easiest thing to reach for, the, the most natural, quickest thing. And um, usually that will, you know, that can resolve anything. I can, I could just let whatever is happening be as it is. And I see that it passes, you know, very, very easily without having to go into it. Sometimes I have some things that are kind of a little bit stronger that I kind of am struggling with and I'm not sure about. And I feel like I need some, maybe some, some extra help. So in those cases, I, I usually write in the, the Facebook group and I ask like, you know, I do a post and I ask a question and it's so nice to like hear the responses from the trainers and it always helps. And it's always, I always feel better just like reading the, the responses and and then if it's something like very strong or just you know anything that I feel like I'd like really like some more intimate or personal help with I'll write to my trainer and that's like so powerful and <laughs> so nice like amazing to have that um, communication that contact wow so nice so yeah, it's always like one of the, oh, and also listening to talks, like I'll listen to talks if ever, you know, I'm feeling like, you know, something like, or like moody or something or like feeling a little bit depressed or whatever. I'll just like put on a talk and just like, just relax. I also listen to the, to Candice's talks on um, timelessawareness.org, like the longer talks. I listen to like one of those every day or in the morning or at night or. I listen to, um, I copy text a lot. I read the text, <laughs> anything I can do, like anything that feels like just natural, like you reach for anything with the mainstays, I'll, I'll do it. And it's, it just feels so nice. I feel like it's a, a nice hug. <laughs> and I'm just like hugged constantly. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Yeah, all the, the basically, again, for everybody who is newer here, it's so beautiful to hear. And the, the four mainstays really all support, you could say they, they're supports, they're mainstays, they're um, an environment or a, a platform on which the instinctive recognition of open intelligence becomes easier, it becomes reinforced. So for many things that we do in life, um, like the latest Netflix series, I've just completed another season of The Crown. Uh, you know, when when you look at life it, always through th through the filters of reification of making every thought, emotion, sensation into something, and that's all we're immersed in all day long. Like through the media, through people we talk with, through the books we read, through the practices we have, then it's just so hard to have short moments of open intelligence because we're so entrenched in focusing on the data streams. And so to have a, uh, an environment, a, a field, uh, an, an indivisible field that just penetrates all of daily life is, is just so precious to, to reinforce, to acquaint ourselves. I had another uh, a call with somebody about the 12 empowerments a couple of days ago. And I, I likened it to just basking in the sun, taking a sun bath where, you know, you don't have to do anything. Like you said, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to like have a formal hour of practice, although you can have yeah. a practice of like writing out text or listening to a talk, but it's not like this, this strenuous task of going from A to B, reaching a destination in the future. Something I love about open intelligence is that each moment of practice is the complete result. Like you're right there. Yeah. And instead of trying to get there in the future, and it's, it's so beautiful to hear your direct experience of that. I'm, I hope many of our trainers will get to listen to this so they, they hear how meaningful every so Facebook many. post is. Yeah. Yeah. Really beautiful. Let me check there. Any any questions on Facebook? Let us know. We have Norway, Budapest, Israel, India, more from India, Stockholm again. Um, let us know any questions you might have here. Um, I also wanted to ask you in the meantime, more hearts for you, Nicola. <laughs> hearts. I send my hearts out as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um, so... 
Are there any specific things that you have planned for 2018? That's a question we get a lot about New Year's resolutions, like, what are you going to do this year? For me, it was a massive relief no longer to even bother about a New Year's resolution for quite a yeah. few years because I was so entrenched in this practice and uh, it never led to any lasting results. So I was happy to give it up. Yeah. I know other people who were uh, deeply involved in the formation says you have New Year's resolutions, who make plans of what they're going to do. How is, how is that for you today, starting a new year? No, I don't have any resolutions. I used to do a lot of that kind of goal setting and kind of um, trying to achieve things and trying to, you know, kind of make, make dreams come true, you know, things like this. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like it's kind of like slowly, I don't really do, like, I don't really feel the need to do that. I just feel like, I just want to be kind of with whatever it is right now. And just like, that's so okay. Like, I don't, I don't have to plan anything. I mean, like plan my happiness in the future somehow but i do i am i do have a plan for 2018 i'm going to india in like two weeks oh that is amazing i'm gonna visit the uh the center in goa oh that's wow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how exciting yeah that's my plan so far <laughs> What a great plan. I'd love to come along. I haven't seen the new center. I was there in Goa when we started uh, going to Goa and I yeah. saw the land before it became the center. And then the first year the center was set up, I think seven or eight years ago was the first season I didn't go back to India. So sent my love to everybody and take some pictures and bring them to the group. <laughs> I will. That is so beautiful. And and it's it's also really nice after such a long lifetime of of efforting and 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 trying and achieving and goal setting like you said to just yeah. hang loose and and give yourself the time and space well actually like i noticed that i like goal setting and kind of making your dreams come true that it actually works like you can actually you know make things happen and you can you can manifest things but it doesn't it doesn't provide kind of the satisfaction that you, anyways, for, for, for me, it didn't provide the satisfaction that I wanted. You know, I got everything I wanted, kind of, you know, kind of, not everything, but I got things that I wanted and I always wanted more and more and more. And it was never, it was never what I was looking for. So now I feel, I feel much better. That is very insightful. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about that the other day because I'm I'm also involved in a few of our projects where just setting goals is helpful for the entire team so that everybody's going in the right direction yeah, and it's yeah. just a helpful tool. Yes. Um, and I was reflecting on just what you said is like if 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 I was still living from like always trying to this one thing then I can relax this one more yeah. thing then I'll be satisfied and <laughs> once you've reached that there is just more to reach more to accomplish more yes. to do so that's that's quite amazing to see through this dynamic everything is so great already <laughs> everything is so nice that's beautiful. So good to hear. Thank you for sharing so openly. It's so much fun to hear your to hear your direct experience. Is there anything that you would like for anybody who is new? I saw quite a few new uh, likes and faces from people I haven't seen here before. Are there any tips, any suggestions in terms of how to check out Bright Balanced View? Anything you'd like to share with people who are new? that you feel might be helpful for them to hear from somebody who just had like three months uh, and just <laughs> diving in and, and not looking back? Um, yeah, I would say like um, participate in the, on the Bright Community Facebook group and like bring any kind of questions you have, anything you, you have, bring it to bring into that group and ask a, ask a trainer, ask somebody it definitely helps. Like, especially if you have kind of like resistance or you feel kind of, you have doubt or, or whatever about the training or whatever, just like bring it up. Like oh, I'm feeling this doubt or this, 
this kind of resistance to whatever I feel or skepticism or whatever, I'm having difficulty with it. Just bring it up and see what somebody says. Like usually it's like, so everybody has the same kind of those same feelings. And like when you hear, when you hear about it, when you hear that somebody else has that same thing, it kind of just like releases it and it kind of just makes it like, oh, it's normal, oh, it's okay. So yeah, I would say like definitely participate in the in the Facebook um, community. It's it's so easy to do too. Like you can just everybody has Facebook. Yeah, and and just do it. <laughs> I mean, I would say just I would say just do it. Like whatever. <laughs> For me, I, like I did. I had like a lot of uh, a lot of uh, resistance. Not a lot, but I had resistance to the training or whatever. I just brought it up with my trainer after the twelve empowerments. Like especially since it was like. Um, it was like kind of felt like a big commitment to to like keep going with the training somehow like just that's the data that was coming up and I just brought it up with my trainer and he was like it's totally fine like you know it, it was just totally open it was just like I don't know it just got magically erased I would say I would say just <laughs> and if you want your problems to be magically erased <laughs> just just keep going Wow, I couldn't end on a better note. <laughs> wow, that was so good. Thanks, thanks, uh, Nicola, for for joining us today. I see we're we're at our time where we uh, end uh, the call for today. But it was, so <laughs> I, I have tears tears of uh, of joy here. Um, nice. Yeah, I'd I'd love to come back to you. Let's check in again in a few months and see yes. how things have been for you. What you've mentioned was just so valuable and and very insightful. I think this is the first time that we're actually with somebody who has just gone through the online trainings in the format that you have. Um, wow. Many of our other guests here have been trainers or really like long long term participants. So yeah. wonderful premiere wow. couldn't have been better. Thank you so much, Jochen. Thanks for joining and uh, let's keep updating each other on the Bright page, on the Bright Facebook group. Also, yeah. we'll post that link if you're not yet, uh, for anybody who's watching, if you're not yet part of that group, we'll post the link in the description of the video and also in the comments so you can join right there. It's an open group. You need approval because we don't want any spam in the group, but otherwise everybody is getting approved. So come on in there follow Nicola's great advice. Just, just do it and see how that goes for you. Thanks so much, Nicola. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much.